I'm Mari Cartel, LifeScript.com with your Hollywood Health Report. Today, the Cat Daddy has tips for taming the wild beast in our home. There's an old saying that cats used to rule the world, but then they got bored. Well, Jackson Galaxy, star of the Animal Planet series My Cat from Hell, and author of the book Cat Daddy, says cats really aren't aloof, just a bit mysterious. Galaxy has spent years understanding feline fundamentals. His conclusion? We humans very often reinforce bad behavior. When you bring a cat into the home, the, the one thing they don't own is everything. You know, so you, you really have to give them that ownership. What that includes are cat beds, cat condos, dishes, and litter boxes. That's right, boxes, plural. Nothing says ownership like walking by something that smells like you, you know what I mean? If you're a cat, of course. Now, if you don't have that smell in that very important social area, what's gonna happen? You're gonna put that smell down anyway. It's in other words, kiss your curtains, couch, and carpets goodbye, unless you load up on litter. If you would just put more litter boxes down, you wouldn't have things on your pee, on, on your carpet, and on your, your, your drapes, you know. You just gotta go with the litter box instead. And most cats are finicky eaters, right? Well, maybe it's their dish. You don't like dirty dishes, do you? Guess what? Neither do cats. So wash their bowls daily, then pick up that plate after each meal, because the cat daddy says, Felines don't graze, and an endless supply of food can make them grumpy and lazy. You're feeding them too much. If they're hungry, if they're going for meals and not these just constant feedings, we can actually get them to do things. If we, if we expect cats to do things because they love us the way dogs do, well, we got another thing coming. That's why I talk about cat mojo. That's what I talk about. If you understand the very basics, hunting and ownership of territory and how these things are just uber, uber important to your cats, all these, these things from behavior to nutrition, they all fall into line. But doesn't it just seem like some cats are just plain nutty and will bite the heck out of you while you're petting them? Galaxy says, don't take it personally, they could be overwrought by all your affection. In cats, what happens often is that we can just be petting and petting and petting and we're absent-minded about it. What you're doing is you're putting energy into that cat. It's almost like filling them with a static charge. And at some point, again, it's called a sympathetic nervous system. Uh, th their body and their mind are very well connected. And at some point, the body will take over. It's totally overcharged. And that's when they strike out. The biggest mistake we make is thinking they mean something by doing it, meaning I don't like you. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. It's overstimulation. Their body is now making decisions, not their mind. Galaxy began helping cats after working in a shelter. He was using drugs and isolating himself from people until he met a cat named Benny who changed his life. He cared for Benny until his death and he credits that relationship with saving his life. I would be dead and that's, that's a, that I can tell you that with all assuredness. I mean, the, the path I was heading down, uh, the rabbit hole that I was heading down in terms of addiction uh, was surely, it was killing me at that time. I just didn't care. And the thing about animals is they brought me out of it because they gave me something bigger than me to care about. And by doing that, you elevate your own life. And that's part of the message of, of Cat Daddy, that my relationship with these shelter animals and with Benny, one of those shelter animals who stayed with me for all those years, is that humans elevate their existence through their love for animals. My Cat from Hell airs Saturday nights on Animal Planet. Cat Daddy is now in paperback. For more Hollywood health news, hit that subscribe button. This has been your Hollywood Health Report from LifeScript.com. I'm Mari Cartel.